Well, it looks like at least one person in Donald Trump's orbit has realized that Alina Haba is a very bad lawyer. And that person of course happens to be former Trump organization, chief financial officer, Alan Weisselberg, as it was revealed this week that he recently filed a motion in court, letting the court know that Alina Haba is no longer representing him. And he is in fact being represented by different counsel. To put that another way, to put that in a far less diplomatic way, Weisselberg said, you're fired to Alina Haba. You are not going to represent me as we move forward with this case. And as we all know, Weisselberg is of course, uh, well, he recently pled uh, guilty to lying under oath during the fraud trial. So he's got that penalty coming up. And of course he is part of the appeal for the overall fraud trial. Now this is where things get interesting because Alina Haba is not an appellate lawyer. So this whole thing, because you know, this is being reported everywhere. So let's just be fair about it. This whole thing of Weisselberg switching lawyers might not be due to Alina Haba's incompetence. It might just be due to the fact that, okay, you did your job for me. You're not an appellate lawyer. So obviously I have to hire new counsel for the appeals process. Thank you for your time. It could be innocuous, but here's why I don't think that's the case. If that were the case, if this were just a uh, uh, Weisselberg getting appellate lawyers to take it from here, this would have happened a long time ago. Alina Haba would not have remained his counsel up until, you know, the first week of April. And in fact, according to the reports that are talking about Haba being fired, it says that Weisselberg actually wanted to replace her all the way back in March, but wasn't able to do so yet. So I do think this is due to Alina Haba's incompetence. And I think it's important to remember how bad Alina Haba is because let's not forget that following Donald Trump's defeat in the fraud trial and his defeat in the E. Jean Carroll defamation lawsuit, her performance was so bad. Her behavior in front of the judge was so bad that you had these MAGA people out there actually suggesting on social media that Alina Haba might be a democratic plant, you know, working as a democratic double agent to sabotage Trump from the inside. So Weisselberg knows that Alina Haba is not up to snuff and he's getting rid of her. The MAGA people out there who love Donald Trump believe that Alina Haba is so bad. She's actually working for the Democrats secretly. The only person on this planet who seems to have any confidence in her at all is Donald Trump. And he's the one who has lost when you add up the E. Jean Carroll trial and the fraud trial, he's lost over half a billion dollars because of how bad she is as a lawyer. And if that is not enough of a wake up call, then I don't know what will be. He loves to parade around with her. He thinks she's very nice arm candy. He's gone to events with her in Las Vegas. You know, Trump's wife wasn't there. Alina Haba's husband wasn't there. I mean, he threw her a birthday party recently, all kinds of crazy stuff. So I, I don't want to say that there's more to it than we know, but those aren't things you just do with your lawyer. So maybe there's another reason why Donald Trump is keeping her around. It certainly isn't because of her legal prowess. I can tell you that, but maybe there's something else Donald Trump sees in her that honestly, I don't even want to know about at this point.